Okay, so I have the basics. I have the theory, the initial implementation kind of there. It's rough, but it does the job. I have MSAA support. It's what I was looking for in the first place, in the first session. And it resolves down to uh, swap chain images. It's all good in that respect. Now I need to do, build up the refined implementation of this as well as kind of figure out where it's supposed to go because this is almost exclusively like the shape of what the render target looks like is going to basically be entirely based on the, the rendering implementation back end so i don't really think it'll stay here it'll pro probably belong in like the graphics area probably something that's handled like in here somehow um, <clears throat> so it'll have like a hand okay yeah let's just try it in our target we want copyright do this we are so much like mm, session of that yeah we got a handle and a couple other things like this this makes sense except it's not that it's a render target is it a render target or a render target set Hmm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm not entirely certain how I want to do this. Render target set and maybe a render target as well. The, tar the render target is composed of the images and the frame buffer. And the render target set is the set of possible render targets. Right. Um. <laughs> you know we'll just uh, start with this. Render for re graphics render target. We go into the graphics VK side. We're gonna have, let's start with the, the back end. Which will be like this one. Nope, not like this one. It'll be like this one. So we got that. Okay, we're gonna struct graphics VK render target. We're gonna have what are we gonna have? What are we how how do I want to refine this? Actually, just before that I need the handle casts. So render target. Okay. Okay. Refinement. What am I going to do? Hmm. And what images will it be based upon? Do I want to do that under target? That actually might be. Hmm.
we have the specifications at least so let's, let's do that so we're going to still have the BK format BK sample count flags And then we're going to have to have a uh, size to use the count. So rather than having the count set for all of them, so like if I have a set of three, right now it'd be, so close that, close that, close that. For this right now, it's a set of three uh, color images and a set of three depth stencil images. And then it would be three of each of the other targets that is not necessarily going to be what I want. I do foresee the case where like the number of images you have of each type will be or may be different. Primarily under the idea that you may want to have a more of a history of a certain type of, of a render target. So I'm thinking along the lines of like you'll have maybe you know three or four color image for history to go back a couple of frames, but you only need like one depth to reuse, or you'll need two because you're writing to one while reading from the other for the last frame or something odd like that. Whatever the case may be, like the number of, the count of each format type you want in a render target set and how quickly you want to iterate through them may be different. So I want to try to have that moving forward, which means I need to change the count from being like an, an, for the entirety to on a <clears throat> spec specific range or some something along those lines. Um, Frame data. Also, uh, that's a thought. When I, let's say, change the extent, I'm not going to change the specification like I can here. That doesn't really make as much sense. If you want to change the, the specifications, you should like just create a new render target set. That's just because such a fundamental change is going to change the entire layout of everything. But what does make sense is that you'll be able to change the extent throughout the use, you know, because like it's a, it's it's the most common use case where it's going you're changing the resolution for whatever reason. So I need the ability to say because images are going to be uh, disconnected from frame buffers, I need to yeah basically this thing that I kind of was thinking of earlier but didn't really go through with. Uh, where the image data you'll have like a bool latest uh, so that it's by default fo false zero is false when I create a new one yeah and then struct data it's going to be like this so we have a bk frame buffer and we'll have a bool for latest, like that. Okay, and then, so what we will have is when we create a new one of these, we'll have like a const, so standard vector. And target specification, const specification. Specifications. We could uh, okay. 
Uh, not that Vulcan vector. Thinking of something, uh, VK extent 2D extent. So what's going to happen is every time you update the extent, like all the latest, like these are all going to be reset to false for all the images and all frame buffers. So as it iterates through and it needs to update images or frame buffers, it will. And it'll do it piecemeal, in a, yeah, in a piecemeal fashion. That would make sense. I'm not sure if I can destroy an image before I can do the frame buffer that uses it. So it actually may require some fancy footwork. Ah, uh, we'll see. We have a vector of however many image data. That and that. And then I'm kind of thinking a standard array of, or vector of unit 8t. Because realistically, how many of these are you going to have? Like the maximum count. What's the maximum count? The number of specifications that you can handle. Probably like 32 maybe or something like that. So we'll have like uh, indices. Have that kind of separate, separated out down like there. I think so. Okay, okay. Got that we're going to need some kind of like uh, uh, function that's going to acquire the next render target. Next, yeah, so we're going to have. For our next render target, we'll take in this. We're of course going to be able to swap between that, so. Render target from handle and it's render target. Okay. So what happens? To my mind, we'll increment all, okay. The number of images in a target is image specification. Um, that do this I'm going to increment all the indices
from this, okay, yeah, we also need to make sure we're not incrementing above the count for any of the specs, so. If, I'm sure I could probably figure out some kind of weird mathematical something or other that'll be way, that'll be more effective than this, but I don't know how to do it, so I'm not. Greater than or equal to p render target in your specifications i dot count. Let me just say p render target indices equals to zero. We set it back to zero. So once we've incremented all of these, then we've got to go through. We've got to make sure that the images that we're looking for are okay. So size offset because we're putting all the images together in one larger array we can have an offset that starts at zero and plus I. we've got to go through these I could actually have done this at the same time with this couldn't I but I'll keep them separate for the moment. I doing I was going to go through so start off with the first image we go like so e render target for images which is offset plus I image dot latest then I need to update Okay, I need to deal with uh, deletion of old image data. I need and I need to do it safely. So what am I going to need? I'm going to, I need this and I need to specify something like size T or rather 32, right? You just you 32. Then 
and export for frames. I need the delay destruction mechanism and I need to make sure that it works. Hmm. Am I going to... I'm not sure if I want to do like this or kind of have like a delayed destruction class type or something like that. Hmm. Maximum count, one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah. <sighs> Deleting the old stuff. And I need to specify how many frames it will be deleted. Right now, all of my delayed destruction is based on the maximum possible frame time. Or the maximum, no, maximum number of buffered frames that I have specified as a type def. And that's kind of really not great because that can mean I could actually hold on to data longer than I actually need. So, do I want to actually have some kind of type in here that's like a delayed destruction mechanism? that I just pass around internally? Or do I just like integrate it with... Hmm, I really don't know, okay. Okay, for the moment, let's assume we don't actually have that. If image dot you realistically image dot image not equal. That's the most basic thing that I need to go through with this. Otherwise, we just need to go through the creation process, which I have in here. Create target image, which is this. Graphic session, that, that, that. Okay, I need, do I bring in, sorry. Yes, this one, do I have, I do not have a graphic session with me. Do I wanna bring it in? No, I'll just do it. have this now. Otherwise, what else do I need? I need that, I need that, I need the extent, and I need the image data. Okay. So this is just fine, as is, basically. So it's not that, it's
Oh, map aspects. Where do I get that? From this? Yeah. I'm not changing it while I've got it. So we do this. We get to this point, we're creating a new one. So we're going to um, Create target image with the P render target. That we're going to give it the specification that we want. No, it's not that, it's that, it, oh, it's this. Image I, but uh, that offset, that index into there. So you get the spec. We have the extent, so that's under target, extent. And that. Realistically, this would be uh, something that you can get from the outside, so do this more like.
Okay, so at this point I've recreated or created all the images I need. Then I need to go through and frame buffer. So what I would do, I have these, but I also need to say like, Okay, how do I calculate this? From, me, from the image specifications. Okay, hold on. How do I do this? Good question. We'll have a bunch of specifications like this. And then we'll have, not that, but it'll be the non-Vulcan version. as well. session like that. When I do a new like that, I can't, unless it's in C++ with a constructor, I can't just say like P graphics. P session, right? I just can't do this. Sorry, PK. Or maybe I can. I didn't think you could, but I, I guess I can. Okay, not too bad. Uh, 
uh, I don't know if there is a vec standard vector constructor for that. Constructors, constructors, give it to me. Like, is there a begin and end? Yes, and yes. Until C plus plus twenty. Oh, okay. Just, uh, just updated with uh, cons expression possibility. Okay. So yes, that that does exist. So I can work with that. Ah, lovely. So we do that, we will create that. Then we will say p new render target uh, resize. This, um, and we'll, okay. What were the other options? Oh, pray tell. I believe there were versions for like, you give the count and then the thing to be created a number of times, correct? Count value, yes. So we have that many images times, actually, I don't know, hmm, that's true. I don't know the count quite yet. Image count equals zero. So we need to go through all the specifications that we have. counts if I can't find the count
Okay. Do I have to do this as well? Probably. I probably have to keep this this diff count thing around as well. Hmm. Maybe I'm trying to do this a bit too smart. I'm just getting in over my head. I think I am. Because the idea was I was kind of do some kind of somewhat smarter offset mechanism where like I do what is it like the factorial almost like a seven by like if I had an image like a set of account a specification for four a specification for three and a specification for two I'd have a four by three by two number of frame buffers. With you know, um, four, three, two, so nine total images, but four by three by two frame buffers, which is a lot more. Or times three times two, so like 12, 24 frame buffers. So that way I wouldn't have to recycle frame buffers as much. I wouldn't have to like create them and just have them deleted in another couple of frames. But it might just be easier to do that if I can figure out the a delayed destruction mechanism right now, rather. That probably would be easier, wouldn't it? Okay, we'll go with the, the easier one.
And what's going to happen is instead of trying to be too smart, we'll still have like the images. We're not going to do the diff count things. That is still something that's dumb enough that I can do. Image count. So we have that. We have dot images. It's going to be image count by an empty set. Okay, I just need to specify this, don't I? Yeah. Actually, nothing I need to do here specifically is there. Indices are oh, I do need to set like that. Indices. Which is image count by zero. not an initializer list. Do I have to like specify brackets for this? Yeah, okay. Okay. I need to go through all of the uh, images. I need to say that they're no longer late. Um, okay, actually, if Then 
Otherwise, we need to. Oh no, I already have that. I need to have that specified to kit here. So then here I say p render ex target extent equals extent. And I say, hey, you know, p, I need to go through. through all of these and I need to say hey you know image dot latest equals false so that they all need to on the on the next acquire rend, acquire next render target image they'll all be started start to be recreated okay next acquire next render target now we get into back into like I need the delay destruction thing and I'm not entirely sure where to put it, it put it yet. Okay. Um, delayed destruction. Now I already have again the delayed destruction of the others is more direct and handled by those but perhaps i can hmm. no 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 maybe Maybe, okay. What if I did have like a delayed destruction? Something like this, a delayed destroyer that Okay, and then you would, when you create this, you would need to have that available. So, okay, hold on. I do not, I need one here. Okay, I have this. That for the wit thirty two, that for the system error. Ah, uh, that leaves the render targets back.
which for the moment, I guess, I kinda need to have up here. Which isn't really good. But. Don't really have much on choice here. delayed callers coming from. Destructor. That, that, and that. Okay, okay. Bring that in here somewhere. Debug callback, but nothing. Hmm. I'm sure this is something I'll get rid of later as well, really, realistically. But for the moment, this is the only, this is not the only way, but this is the most sensible way I can think of as to how to incorporate this kind of functionality, unfortunately. So. So this type is going to have Basically, like before, it's going to have a mutex. I think I can add a mutex to this. That would make sense. Include a vector. I think to synchronize it. And then we need standard vector of. Ah, standard function void, which takes in a VK device. Allocator. Vulcan and that. Okay. They need a vector of these. So let's set some types.
or rather, sorry, using that equals that. Need a vector of these things. And then we'll need a pointer or iterator to the current one. So I can use that as a counting mechanism. Okay. Um, One, two, three, yeah. Call lists like that. Okay. things a bit easier or does it um i don't even need it here realistically do i i can just forward declare it like that i could probably also do it here How would I create this? Then how would I use it? Something like this. And this also would mean I can actually put it at the very top level as well, like here or so.
strange, but okay. Oh, I need to export it. Also going to require the ability to switch between them. So between this and this. That. Okay, then we'll have auto star p new destructor. Okay, that, 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 those are all otherwise. Okay, call this at least needs to be one. equals that, okay? Hold on, am I doing this right? I don't think I'm doing this right, am I? Create session, P session, equals session to handle of that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah.
Okay. So this should still be that. I'm getting this from this, which I'm getting from this, which is to this. So yeah, it's a, it's a handle, which is defined right inside of this somehow. Nothing magical. That's that. Don't know why I can't figure it out. Well, no. Yes, because I, yes, I didn't actually have it there, so I need it here instead. So this... No, it's, it's that. This is from this file, which goes to this file, which I haven't saved, so that's probably why it's screwing up, right? Yeah. Okay. We also need like a photographics to destroy it. Then destroy. So do all that, then destroy. Okay, then we gotta go for four order and... Uh, I can just go through, yeah, I can go through them arbitrarily. No, I may not be able to do them arbitrarily because some of them, they may require, yeah.
it equals that plus one while the delay destructor not equal sorry while iterator not equal that now we need to start yeah because we're advancing to the next one and then we're coming back to the current one yes if If that then call list if p delay disruptor call lists dot begin and we gotta keep going. for loop starts on this one no it has to start on the next one it has to So let's say it's a size of one. It then goes to plus one. So it's spot two. This sets it back to spot one. Is this a do while loop? This may be a do while loop. We know there's always at least one because I started off with one. I think this may be a do while loop. It's been a long time. Set to the beginning, then we've got to go through four auto and iterator of I'm going to make the call where I have the P graphic, um, this graphic session device, P delayed structure, P graphic session, whoops. Uh, locator and while it's not keep going man it's been a long time since I've done a do, a do while loop but I mean here it is okay and then I need to delete that okay
meant to be synchronized to the frames. Okay, we can do that. Okay, we're going to do that. We need to lock this. We need to unlock it uh, on the way out, unlock. So what we're going to do in this thing is we're going to increment p delete structure call lists if current call list equals p delete call list dot end and p p delay destructor current call list equals p delay destructor call lists dot begin reset it to the beginning that's fine current call list to run these in the thread that we called this from. thing which is just like you know internally which is just hey I want to add to find the handle cast and I want to have like a delayed destruction call which is this this is internal the actual call Slightly sure. Function lists.
Okay, when we're adding one. Do this and do this unlock. First of all, we need to determine if is greater than uh, pvk that uh, function lists dot size. That means we need to resize. Okay, if this is the case, we're moving things around, then we can, what I'll do is I'll expand it. What I'm going to, hmm. If, okay, when I, when, when uh, I do a resize on a vector, I presume, And I can say what type it is to be put in. Okay, so that does work. So I'm going to create a new one that's of size whatever. That's non delayed size, okay. So I'm going to loop through the old list, starting with the current one, put it first, and iterate through, then back up until I reach the same point. Then I'll have the new ones added empty onto the end. Yeah. Reserve that num delayed. Uh, hold on. <sighs> yeah. 
yeah, no, not quite. Can I do these to the end and then these to that? Don't move. So yeah, 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 hold on. So new list is going to be that. I need to start on the current one. Don't I? One, two, three. <sighs> no, I do need to start on the current one. Okay, 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 okay. Another do while loop, perhaps. But instead of starting on the next one and then rolling back to this one, we need to start on the current one, then increment it. Yeah, okay, another do while loop. Okay, then we gotta go fn plus plus fn list. Then we need to reset it to the beginning. Okay, we run through until we got them all, and then I need to new list dot resize to delayed so that the at the ones after those will be the new empty ones one two three there we go one two three oh no 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 hold on the one I'm sitting on would be the last one to do yeah, yeah, so this actually does make sense. One, two, three. Would it be the end, actually, the end one? Hold on. Frying my brain. Okay, we have a new list. We've reserved that many items. So it'd be the last ones actually, wouldn't it? The first, okay, that first, first, one, two, three. Like that. Okay, no, no, no. So the ones that haven't gone yet need to be first. The current one needs to be last. And then between the, the old ones and the current one, 
needs to be the empty options. Okay, so as long as I do four not equal to that and I start on the next one, If it equals the last one, I need to reset to the beginning. Okay, these are the first ones going in. be a do while loop again it would be a do while loop or would it oh my God. it'd be technically both I need to check it both before and after perhaps in case Okay, I need to do this very strange. This, then I need to make sure that that is the case like that. Then I need to make sure while or for realistically that. Then increment that. Then I need to also run this. But it doesn't happen for the first one. Then I need to like new list dot place back. Move function list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I need new list to resize to be num delayed minus one. And then list dot place back standard move of the pointer to PVK. It'll be the same thing, so that function list. For the very for the same function list again or for the original at the very end so that it'll be at the end next one will go to the beginning which is the next old one then the next old one then the new one then the new one then the original again right there's actually no good way to do this is there oh man I don't think there is.
Unless, oh my god. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. Beginning, that one, that one, then the end one, okay. Then the new ones. And then set the pointer to the last of the new one, new empty ones, right? That's the new delayed list. Because the idea is, of course, they wanted to be three, so then they'll be like one, two, three, delayed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, again. Reset. Uh, P, V, K, current. We have a do while loop. Well, you equal PVK that current. Woo, do while. Nobody knows what it is. That while that. Okay, and then we set a new list dot replace back. Uh, standard move of the point of two function list. Great. That'll take care of everything in that case. And then at the end, we say, hey, new list dot resize to the new size. Num delayed. And then we say, hey, uh, so we've got a pvk that function lists equals standard move of new list pvk the destruction of current list equals um, new list dot end minus one okay now desire delay which means I need to go through and do that so Greater than zero. If it's zero, set it to one. Otherwise, if I add it to zero, it'll be at the maximum delay, technically. So while num delayed zero and minus minus num delayed and plus plus on the list.
that, 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 if function list. Then after all of that, I say fn is dot in place back uh, the function. Okay. There was a whole lot of terribleness. So the entire point of all of that was for me to go into the render target here, give it this, Maximum number of buffered frames. Mm -hmm. So that's something I'm going to give it uh, when I'm creating a render target is the specifications. I'm going to give it for graphics, delay destructor. I'm not sure if I want to actually integrate into the session or not yet. So right now I'll just pass it along to this and maybe another couple of other items that will be requiring it. Hmm. the duration that's not being changed so that const Okay.
So what I want to do here then is I need to Okay, and then the function is what? It's going to be are provided from externally so that should be fine images then reset right 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 so This is a neutral thing. That is, that can be updated to not require Vulkan. That is Vulkan, very Vulkan specific from the specifications for the moment. This is accepting what? Width and height, right? Width and height, yeah. I'll just do that instead. Okay. So that's not VK update anymore. This is one we can just put just like that up in the top. Under target that. One, that's two, this is still got that. Uh, 
Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's see the damage. Let's see the damage. 